You know, I usually be on the straight and narrow. Terra firmer, if you will. But today, the seas be me mistress. Arr. That was a pirate, that was. Uh, hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Now, I have been literally inundated with at least 10 suggestions asking me to take a look at the comments underneath the infamous Rings of Power final trailer. Tra trailer? Wait. <laughs> that was a mix of trailer and failure. It is a trailer. That's exactly what it is. Well, I've been, uh, like I say, I've been... Uh, been inundated with requests to look at it, so that's exactly what we're going to do today. Uh, but just before we do that, we're going to hop into a couple of comments that I've received on uh, a couple of my past videos that I want to take a quick look at, and then we'll dive into the infamous trailer. Uh, all right, so uh, we're starting with a, a particularly intellectual comment. Y'all nitpicking interviews now, huh? This is like when all these whiny dudes made an anti-Captain Marvel video every day, and it still made a billion dollars. I will concede that, yeah, Captain Marvel did make a billion dollars. Have you ever tried asking someone, I don't know, if they like that film though? <laughs> Unfortunately, how much money something makes doesn't always equate to how good it is. Whilst bringing up a discrepancy with my videos, you decide to cite Captain Marvel as your defense. You are a ridiculous little man. I am assuming that you are male, but I'm definitely not assuming that you're ridiculous. You realize that people's problem with Rings of Power is not whether it's gonna make money or not, or whether it's gonna make a lot of money. It's the show itself and the respect that's gone into that show. I think this one's a bit of a, hey, you guys, if you know what I'm saying. Best believe I went back to check. 45% on Rotten Tomatoes. I believe it was sat on, what, like 7.8 on IMDb. But if you actually go into the reviews, uh, I just found stuff like this. Nine out of 10, loved it. I couldn't think that there are so many closed-minded people than after reading the reviews. They are really not able to enjoy anything. Poor guys, so sad. For those who are open-minded, don't read the bad reviews. Just watch the movie and judge for yourself. Of course, not everything was perfect, but we're only humans. Great job, guys. Thank you. Okay, you call everyone else closed-minded and then immediately tell people not to read bad comments. You're saying, shrink your view on life by not paying attention to anything negative so you're n to avoid being closed-minded. Your solution for closed-mindedness is to be closed-minded. Do you see my discrepancy? And literally, there was no, there's no critical review of the film. They literally just say, not everything was perfect. You gave it a nine out of 10. That, that's a, that's, that, is a, that is a once in a lifetime for a director, a nine out of 10. You gave it a nine out of 10 and your only critical comment is, not everything was perfect. That's the only thing you could say. Eight out of 10, I don't really get the hate. It's not that bad. <laughs> These people, where do these people come from? Zero IQ. Inverted brain, convertible human beings. <laughs> What's this one say? 10 out of 10, loved it. My younger sister and I saw this on our 10th birthday. <laughs> these people are literally 10 year olds. Now, can a 10 year old have an, op an opinion about a movie, a valid opinion? Absolutely. Am I gonna listen to that <laughs> review? Absolutely not, no. There are a reason there are no 10 year old critics, or at least no 10 year old critics that anyone takes seriously. I'm pretty sure I was still eating Lego when I was 10. Just like you said, the actors haven't said anything about the show, neither have you. You're outraged over nothing. You know, the funny thing is, I actually agree with you. I haven't said anything about the show. None of us have said anything about the show. We've critiqued the interviews and the clips. We've, in we've, we've, we've been critical of what we've seen. None of us have said a word about episode one, two, three, four, any of them. The whole series. None of us have said anything. You realize this. Honestly, dude, do yourself a favor and stop copying and pasting. Just like you said, the actors haven't said anything about the show, neither of you. You realize it, it's not my job to tell you about the show. That's their job. That's literally what they're supposed to do in interviews. That's what interviews for. And you also said uh, you're outraged over nothing. I mean, I don't know. I think that's a little harsh, maybe. I consider myself to be quite a mild-mannered chap. Uh, if, if you actually watched my videos and paid attention, you'd realize that these videos, more than anything, are simply to try and entertain you. That's it. I'm here to make you go, eh. that's it. That's, all, that's my only purpose in life, is to make someone go, eh. that's it. Doesn't go any further than that. Like, I'm not outraged. I'm not screaming at you. I'm, am I not very happy with the way, you know, an IP that I have a particular affinity for is maybe not being handled quite well? Yeah, it's a little upsetting. But... I'm not outraged. 
Chill out, dude. One thing I will say is the supporters and defenders of the show, they're not particularly aggressive. So I will give you that, but they do tend to be particularly patronizing. They tend to be like the, um, actually, watch the show, then maybe judge it. I don't know, seems like common sense to me. If you just go around copying and pasting what everyone else says, no one's gonna ever find you interesting. That's just a quick tip for you, bro. But to answer the comment, again, I don't know how many times you guys have to be told this. No one said a word about the show. We've talked about the clips we've seen and the interviews. So I don't know what you're talking about. You're literally just copying and pasting. Well, of course we're going to throw poo at him. So then I went on a little comment safari underneath the Rings of Power trailer. And I was there for a good half an hour. And I was actually quite disappointed that I couldn't find a single supportive or like decent supportive or defensive comment. I just saw stuff like, this looks like it's going to be good or wow or cool. And it's like, you know, it's not a lot to work with. I couldn't find a single decent defensive comment, which is like I say, I was a bit disappointed. However, there is no lack of memes and humor in these comments. What a lot of the Tolkien fans have done, including myself is we've given up on the idea that this is going to be a show that is a love letter to Tolkien. So rather than wallow in our own sadness, we are going to relentlessly mock and make memes about this travesty because that is the best way to cope with it. You have not seen what I have seen. Well, I've seen this awful trailer, so good luck beating that. <laughs> this is gonna be good. <laughs> middle, middle Earth from Wish. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Oh my God, can you imagine what you could actually buy from Wish with a billion dollars? Now I love when things are repurposed to make fun of the very thing that it came from. Big fan of that concept. This being one of my favorites, brave and stunning. <laughs> the mantra of the wine mom. For those who don't know, brave and stunning was originally used by wine moms to describe any piece of media that was devoid of any type of character and entertainment and instead had had all of that transplanted with opinions and political beliefs that no one asked for. But like I say, it has now been repurposed to mock anything devoid of entertainment. Brave and stunning. <laughs> I love it. Ah yes, for those who have been uh, perusing the comment sections, you will have seen this quote quite often. Look how they massacred my boy. So for those who don't know, that is actually a quote from uh, The Godfather. And I, you know, I've, I've made this quick little meme to elaborate what point this is trying to make. All the same as Look at my boy. Yeah, another trend I've been seeing in the comment section of uh, Rings of Power videos is people have been coming together to, to generate new ideas for what we could do with the now uh, rotating uh, Professor Tolkien. Because obviously he's rotating in his grave at like quite a, quite a pace at this point. Now in one of my previous videos I pointed out that uh, it was in fact uh, Tolkien himself that managed to cool the world down uh, from the heat wave because obviously the, uh, the rotation uh, essentially turned him to a, into a giant fan. Uh, this person's, you know, they've gone even further with it. Tolkien is spinning his grave so fast that we could solve the current power crisis if we use his grave as a power generator. So, you can call us toxic, but by God, if we aren't inventive, we're solving the world's biggest problems here using a gyrating coffin. What have you done? You bought a few Ari Alexas and you've managed to upset everyone. Our hearts even bigger than our feet. Hobo Baggins. <laughs> Stunning and brave again. <laughs> Props to whoever came up with Hobo Baggins. That is the perfect description for this grubby little grease stain here. Galadriel, if it bleeds, we can kill it. The funny thing is, if you go back and watch the first Predator film, it's probably more accurate to Tolkien's writings than the Rings of Power is. <laughs> Scottish people, you have to explain to me what this means. I'm not entirely sure what Bezos has done exactly to Scotland, to be fair, I, d I wasn't even aware they had internet in Scotland, so God knows how his rusty little roots have managed to reach all the way up to the highlands, but please, enlighten me. Amazon, why haven't you disabled comments? Do you even know what is going on? Do you even care? Or is this just bait for the PTP to tag the critical thinkers so you can put us all in camps later? <laughs> it's, it's probably the second one. Uh. I'll see you there, boys. People just go with the herd. Same argument in 
every comment in this section, and the show didn't even add. Some are already vouching to give it bad rates without watching a single episode. Just pathetic. <laughs> Shallow and weak. <laughs> Come on, have you not read the comments from your own side of the aisle? You are literally all copying and pasting the same sentence. The show isn't out yet. How can you say this? Take a break. Have a kick. -kat. No, just take a break from the internet. Is that the new season of Euphoria? <laughs> no, people like Euphoria. <laughs> this is another one. This is another one. You know, I was talking about the, the repurposed uh, wine mom mantras. Here's another one. Controversial and brave. <laughs> It is indeed controversial and brave. Controversial in the sense that uh, it doesn't seem to have any ties to Tolkien, uh, and brave to display these trailers in front of a bunch of people who have read Tolkien. Uh, but there we go. Truly the addition of the hit song All Star by legendary band Smash Mouth, as covered in this piece by Will Smith, really brings out the thematic legacy of Tolkien and infuses a more modern sensibility. A great synthesis of old and new. Yep. What a concept. Ah, but imagine this, right? Tomorrow, a new Rings of Power trailer drops. It's a black screen. All Star by Smash Mouth starts playing. And out pop the showrunners and they just go, Psych, this has been, this whole thing's been a prank. You've been pranked, bro. All these previous trailers you've seen, nothing to do with what we were actually filming. They were just a distraction. They were just there to bait in all of the Tolkien fans to get them properly emotional. Now here, here's the real show and boom, they release a new trailer and it's nothing like you've ever seen before. It's actually an amazing show, perfectly accurate to the workings of Tolkien. All the outfits are beautiful. The music's relevant. Everything's good. Galadriel isn't a warrior. Everyone would be like, oh my God, oh, they practice this all the time. Oh my God. And it'd be the most hype release you've ever seen. Oh, I'm still, I'm still holding out. It's all been a prank. Now I've just realized that what I've just suggested is the All Star by Smash Mouth, if that were to be implemented into their marketing campaign for the show, would actually, unironically, make it better. <laughs> oh my god. This is this is how bad it's gone so far, people. You know it's bad when Smash Mouth can help you. And that's all I've got time for today. Thank you so much for watching this far. If you want to support me as a creator, you can do so on the Patreon linked in my description. Anyone who supports me on Patreon will now get a credit in each one of my videos. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hopefully I can see you then. But until then, take care of yourselves, guys. See ya. I got a lot of love for my patrons. They choose to help me behind the scenes so I can get videos to you more easily. Big shout out to Steve the Goat, Abe Froman, Sammy Moraine, Brennus, Damon Spike, and Chloe Bond. You folks genuinely help me behind the scenes and I can't thank you enough for it. Can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take care of yourselves, guys.